Uh, welcome to Floyd Models Daily Show. Here we are on the 1st of June 2016. 1st of June, where is this year going? Flying through. Anyway, today I've been working really heavily on the Brazin uh, engine set for our FW190 build. So today went something like this. Okay, so here we are on uh, Wednesday morning. Uh, traditionally, Wednesday's a funny day for me, sort of midweek. Uh, I try and get all the builds done, the various bits and pieces, uh, edited and up now. And then Thursday, it tends to get busy again, because obviously we do reviews at the end of the week and things like that. So what I tend to do, if I can, is get as much building work done on today as possible. So what we're gonna do is gonna have a go at, where's the picture for it? Oh, this guy, all right. So what we got is the actual set for the uh, engine for the FW190. Now, if I just bring you around, I can hopefully, as you can see, we've got literally bags and bags and bags and bags and bags and bags, as you can imagine, full of this stuff, uh, full of all the resin to go through. And I'm hoping it's not gonna take too much. Camera plays ball, autofocus cancel, okay. All right, so literally it should be all right. We've got a lot of photo etch parts to go with this as well. The main thing, is the instructions. So as you can see, you get quite a lot of instructions. So it's sheets upon sheets upon sheets. Literally, as you can see, these are all double-sided of all this going together. Now I have seen obviously some guys on the net, even in our site as well, I've done this before, I've done absolutely stunning jobs. So kudos to them, because now seeing how much work actually goes into this, uh, it is showing it's gonna be one hell of a, a build. But if I can get this done today, get it together at least, especially the resin, the bits and pieces and primes, I'll be very happy. And then what we're gonna do is gonna come around and I'm gonna hand paint the entire engine, which is again, something I normally don't do. I would normally go in and I'll spray it and everything else, but I'd say I'm trying to do different things uh, with different uh, models so we can see different techniques really at the end of the day. The other thing as well, I've got to finish off the editing for the Osprey. Um, it's all done, it's just I need to edit it and put it together. So probably around about lunchtime, I'll have a break from it uh, and we'll try and get some editing done like that. So what I'm gonna do is get the SD cards all emptied off, uh, get the live feeds all put into the camera system and everything else like that. I'm gonna get going putting this together. Okay, so this morning, to be honest, it's all the rest of it. You work for hours and hours and you look back and think, I've done much. Actually, we've covered quite a bit. Uh, we cleaned up all the parts, we've gone around. And uh, if I show you around here. Um, hopefully you can see we have, we've got the camera to focus. We're working on the push rods uh, on the engines at the moment and we're doing those. So we put each one of the cylinders onto the back end user little template, which are these guys, okay? And you can stick them on just like that. Pretty straightforward. We've also gone along and we cleaned up all the parts. All the parts are ready to use now, which as you can see is a long drawn out old job doing all of this. But generally it's one of those things that can't be rushed. You need to take your time, make sure you get it right and everything else. My plan is to get this thing together today 
Um, so uh, the video editing might have to take a slight back seat because I'm on a bit of a roll with this and I don't really want to end it, which is always the thing because technically I want to get you guys get the next part of this today, but I need to do probably another half hour's edit on that before it's ready, then get it rendered and up. But because I'm on a roll here, I'm going to carry on getting this done, at least get the push rods in and it mounted up so we've got some type of semblance and then tomorrow it'll just be a case of doing the wiring and everything else. But I've had loads of things come through today, so we've got this type of stuff. So we've got, uh, this is... Uh, uh, the agent extra shiner and we've got um, the glazing agent which I don't know is this clear I don't know we'll be looking at those but those turned up today so we'll have a look at those a little bit later but maybe not this week I don't know if I've got time to do this week I've got other things really for the tools and everything tomorrow on there anyway I'll catch you all in tonight's vlog I have to say this stuff is absolutely lovely it's a joy to work with everything fits together the casting is a little bit tricky getting them off you saw me on there using the uh, mini scroll saw which is beautiful because the blade is literally like a hair so you can literally get right in amongst all the bits very difficult to get a camera in there but um, it's great for getting the tiny little parts off of the actual casting blocks and things like that. But apart from that, it goes together extremely well. The instructions, although there's tons of them, are very concise, very easy to follow. Uh, so hopefully by tomorrow, this should be together and in primer. We'll get it into primer, then we can get it into paint, and then obviously by paint, we're gonna hand paint a lot of it. We'll do the base color, I think we'll spray it, uh, and then we'll come in afterwards and hand paint everything else. But it's gonna be a focal point of the model. Engines always are when they're exposed, especially at this scale. Uh, and this is a beautiful engine. It looks like the real thing. So anyway, today is the 1st of June, so that is time for our monthly draw. Now, to be in the monthly draw here at Flory Models, you just have to be a member. That's it, simple as that. And you must have logged on uh, in the last 30 days. I picked a name out at random, or a number out at random, and that actually coincided with Paul Wiggly. I did it on the random generator not 10 minutes ago. Okay, so well done, Paul, for that. I don't know where you are in the world, I must admit, but wherever you are, I will send you this. So what we've got, we reviewed it the other day. This is the uh, Hobby Bosses 148 scale new uh, AMX ground attack aircraft looks to be really really nice some nice details on that the review for that app is up on the site as well also we're going to send you uh, a set of sanding sticks a set of skinny sticks and a set of sponges in there and obviously I'll chuck you in one of our little goodie bags with all the sticker sets and badges and all the bits and pieces in there so what I'll do is um, either shoot me a PM if you're on the forum or I'll email you via the site anyway to get your name and address and everything else where you want it to be sent so remember all you got to do to be involved is just log in the site within the last 30 days and then on the first of every month I will draw somebody out and you can win a kit. Normally it's one from the stash or it's one that I've reviewed that week and everything else. Speaking of which we were talking about this on yesterday's um, Q&A session with me and Steve. Uh, we were talking about this stuff and funnily enough it turned up today. It's either somebody was watching and quickly chucked it in the place. Now it has turned up anomalous. There was no cover letter or anything else in here but we will give them a go but these are looks just like clear. The old clear now because it's clear again the clear that was milky is now clear it was clear went milky and now it's clear yeah anyway apparently one's for dipping canopies uh, and one is a uh, a goozy agent uh, but basically it's a shine enhancer um, we speak about it a lot overcoating metallic surfaces or natural metal finished surfaces many times I've done it and then you overcoat it and it just goes horrible and turns to like dull aluminium when it was like chrome before and all the rest of it and this stuff apparently is supposed to be for dipping canopies so it does look like clear but anyway we will give them a quick test and then later on I'll give them a proper on test as well a little bit later down the line because you guys have sent me some great stuff to review in the tool section as well so we've got a glue up there we're going to give a go with tomorrow and we've got some seam scrapers and some other tools we've got the rosy riveters you might have seen if you're watching the live show as well when I did my post that I ordered uh, last week so they've all come in so we're going to have a bit of a tool day if you like um, tomorrow so it'll be lots of little mini reviews uh, little 10 minute ones here and there and all the rest of it in tomorrow's show so do you join us tomorrow and in the meantime i'm going to crack on with the engine hopefully we'll get this thing together and then we can get it into some primer so until tomorrow everybody happy modeling take care <laughs>